Hi, welcome to Speedplay Tech Videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mount your Speedplay Zero Cleats to your three-hole shoe. The performance of your Speedplay pedals is highly dependent on the proper installation of your cleats. So follow along and I'll show you how to get things set up correctly. The cleat consists of three main layers, the black base plate with attached snap shims, the yellow spring housing with spring, and the gold bottom plate. You'll need a number two Phillips head screwdriver to tighten down the hardware and a straight edge or flat surface to ensure the base plate is flat. The first step in mounting our cleats is to determine which set of snap shims is required for your shoes. Check our shoe compatibility guide on our website for suggestions of what shims to use with your brand of shoe. The pre-installed 1F and 1R snap shims work for most shoes. If not, you may need to remove them and use our other supplied snap shims. The 4F and 4R snap shims are for shoes with a more curved sole. Uncommonly, shoes with a more flat sole will need our 3F and 3R snap shims, which are available separately. Due to variances in shoe sizes and soles, you may need to experiment with different combinations of our snap shims and or extra shim to find the right match for the radius of your shoes. When changing snap shims, use a flat screwdriver or a butter knife to pry them off and be careful not to break them. Now keep in mind that your end goal when determining which snap shims to use is to ensure the cleat will lie flat both back to front and side to side when you tighten down the base plate. Next, install the base plate to the shoe with the correct snap shims attached. You will use the 5mm mounting screws. Typically the black 5x8.5mm screws are used. Be sure that the screws are sufficiently threaded into the sole with at least 5 full turns. Use the longer 5x11mm screws if necessary. At this point, you should set the fore aft placement of the cleat. Center the base plate under the ball of the foot or wherever personal preference dictates. Then tighten down the screws. The maximum torque for the base plate is 35 inch pounds. Over tightening may damage the base plate, so be careful. After mounting the base plate to the shoe, run a straight edge along the surface of the base plate or set on a flat surface to ensure that there is no bowing. Once you have the base plate installed correctly, snap the spring housing and metal bottom plate together to form an assembly. Use the black 4x11 screws to attach the assembly to the base plate, and place any rider specific shims in between the base plate and the rest of the cleat assembly. Rider specific shims include leg length discrepancy shims and or canting wedges. If you're using shims, the carbon sole protector and longer screws may be needed and are available from your Speedplay dealer. Now verify the words right and left are facing the inside of the shoe. Before tightening the screws down, set the side to side placement of the cleat assembly on the base plate to adjust your Q factor or stance width and make sure you have enough clearance from the crank arm. The cleat is now ready to be tightened into place. The proprietary 4x11 screws have several indexing tabs on the underside of the screw head. Tighten the screws down until resistance from these tabs becomes prominent and tighten only one quarter turn more. The maximum torque is 20 inch pounds. Over tightening of the screws may bind the springs in the cleat and cause the cleats to not perform correctly. After they're mounted, apply speed play SP lube or any appropriate dry lubricant. Your cleats are now ready to be clipped into your pedals. We recommend clipping in and out of your pedals several times while safely supported from falling to help the cleats break in. Thank you for watching this edition of Speedplay Tech Videos. I hope that this video has been helpful. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. One of our customer service representatives will be more than happy to assist you. Now go ride!